Developing now in Georgia, authorities are on standby for former President Donald Trump's surrender. Trump and 18 co-defendants are facing charges of conspiracy and racketeering in a failed effort to overturn Trump's 2020 election loss in Georgia to Joe Biden. ABC's Justin Finch has the story. Outside of Atlanta's Fulton County Jail, heightened security as the sheriff braces for Donald Trump to surrender. Once he turns himself in, sheriff's deputies will record the former president's height and weight, fingerprint him, and take his mugshot. Trump then set for release on a $200,000 bond. In a pre-recorded interview with conservative host Tucker Carlson, Trump attacking District Attorney Fonnie Willis, claiming his charges are politically motivated. They're suing me and they're saying you don't have any right to challenge it. If you challenge an election, we're going to indict you and put you in jail. Willis alleges Trump was at the center of a plot along with 18 co-defendants to overturn his defeat in Georgia's 2020 presidential election to Joe Biden. Former Trump attorneys Sidney Powell, Jenna Ellis, and Rudy Giuliani arrested and booked in Georgia Wednesday. The remaining defendants have until 12 p.m. Eastern Friday to surrender to authorities, and that's likely to include Trump's former White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows. A judge ruled he must present himself for arrest by that time. A hearing is scheduled for Monday on Meadows' request to have his case moved to federal court. And former Trump Justice Department official Jeffrey Clark's request to move his case to federal court is still pending as that surrender deadline looms. With some protesters expected, law enforcement remains on high alert, but officials say they're not tracking any specific threats to Trump's arrest today, which is expected to move quickly. Justin Finch, ABC News, Atlanta.